interested in a new invention from right here in the Tampa Bay area. It could save the lives of thousands of dogs all over the world. For decades, veterinarians trained in so-called terminal surgery labs. Yeah, that means the dogs that they practiced on were euthanized. But as Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers now shows us, a local company has invented a kind of a new dog that can survive any surgery over and over and over again. If dog is man's best friend, this dog may be dog's best friend. A synthetic dog. We're tweaking it constantly. Created to teach surgery. So the procedure, it was actually just like the real thing. I was so doing. real, you have to remember, it's not real. I said it would bleed. I'm not kidding. That one's a big vessel. Yeah, sorry. Veterinarian David Roy Danielson helped invent Alberta. So this is the spleen. This thing's really cool. This is the first organ we built, and it is, I'm, I'm so proud of it. She's the first of a super realistic breed to train veterinarians in surgery with patented synthetic tissue. And the fact that you can practice and cut on this and get the same level of fidelity that you would real tissue. The inventors are passionate to stop real dogs from dying in surgery practice labs. Now we don't need to do that anymore. This is the alternative. It, it's unethical. It's the right thing to do. And this is better science on top of that. Announcing their intention, Sindaver Labs in Tampa says the synthetic canine could mark the beginning of an even larger crusade against animal testing. Our ultimate goal is to end uh, live animal use altogether. Dr. Chris Zachalis says Sindaver will continue its focus on synthetic human tissue they've been developing for years. But they say synthetic animals could get even bigger. The spleen has these leads that connect it to the rest of the dog. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The parts are interchangeable, so you can do unlimited surgeries. The company opened a page on the Indiegogo crowdfunding site, saying they want to raise $24 million to give 20 synthetic dogs to every veterinary college in the world. They say millions of real dogs can be saved by a new breed of near-real dogs, like Alberta. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. And you could probably guess what's coming up next. They are already talking about a synthetic cat. It could save uh, the lives of, of dogs and cats. That's a great thing. Just think thing. about all the research that no. has to have been done because yes. that's how a lot of them learn. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Man's best friend indeed and dogs, like we'll, Lloyd said. We'll be, yes, we'll be following that very closely.